fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. American hero. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra the enemy, fighting to save the day. He never gives up. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe! In our last episode, Cobra Commander launched a daring assault utilizing his new weapon, the Battle Android Troopers. But the timely arrival of Sergeant Slaughter gave General Hawk the diversion he needed to turn the tide. Meanwhile, back at the Terradrome, Destro and Dr. Mindbender plotted to replace Cobra Commander with a new leader, the Cobra Emperor, created from the DNA of long-dead conquerors, a bizarre inspiration given to Dr. Mindbender in a dream. But as Sergeant Slaughter's training restores the Joe's fighting spirit, Slipstream intercepts a Cobra Night Raven carrying Dr. Mindbender's plan to Zartan. And Hawk sends Sergeant Slaughter, Beachhead, and Lowlight to uncover the whole secret at Zartan's camp. There, Thrasher corners Sergeant Slaughter in his deadly thunder machine. And now, today's chapter of Arise, Serpentor, Arise. What are you waiting for, you twit? The assurance that I am now a dreadnought, officially. I swear. Now exterminate them! Get ready. This should bring some tears to their eyes. No, no! Not the back door! What back door? This gonna be telling their grandkids about this one. Come along, Thrasher. You and your fellow Dreadnoughts have work to do. I don't want him around me. Zorana almost destroyed Dr. Mindbender's secret message, but there's enough left to tell us Cobra's gonna be hitting historical burial sites all over the world. The tomb of Napoleon in Paris, the tomb of General Xanathamon Toth in Egypt, even the crypt of Vlad Tepes, better known as Count Dracula. Then there are the tombs of Sun Tzu, the great Chinese strategist, Genghis Khan, Montezuma, Alexander the Great, Ivan the Terrible. The list is incomplete, so they could have targeted other tombs as well. The question is why? Anything worth stealing would have been ripped off centuries ago. I don't know what Cobra's after in those tombs, but I do know if we do nothing, we'll surely pay for it. So in what's at the bottom of us, we're going to split our forces and station a counter-strike unit at every tomb on Sartan's list. Halt! Halt! Sir, we're on an important mission. Please move so we can proceed. I will not, monsieur. I am the mayor of Paris. I must protect my city. We're here to guard Napoleon's tomb. Oh, monsieur general, by rolling your big machines through the streets, by shaking the foundations of our museums, our very culture? Sir, facing Cobra with less firepower than this could put us at a disadvantage. That is not my concern, Monsieur General. Now take your very expensive toys somewhere else. Well, what now, Monsieur General? Well, Sci-Fi, if we were Cobra, I'd say run him over. But we're not, so we won't. Back up the column. We're gonna have to do the job with just awe strikers and recon slats. Keep an eye out, Sci-Fi. We need every advantage we can get. I've got a pretty good observation post, General Hawk. What about the other Joes? We're doing just fine, Sci-Fi. Though I never thought the Russians would welcome us in their territory. When it comes to defending Ivan the Terrible's tomb against Cobra, the Soviet Union is pleased to get G.I. Joe help. I'll be happy to trade with you, Duke. We're chopping our way through the Yucatan, the world's meanest salad. We're about an hour's march from Montezuma's tomb. 
Down here in Egypt, General Hawk, things are going smooth as cat fur on a marble floor. We got old Xanathaman Toth's last resting place locked up tighter than a... Uh-oh, trouble. Help me. Ma'am, what's the problem? My family, my father, mother, and little sister, back in the next valley, we were attacked by Cobra. Will you help us, please? You just sit tight, lady. We're gonna stomp a whole mess of serpent for you. Yo, Joe! <laughs> Sentimental fools. stone door leading to the inner crypt. <gasps> it is important to watch out for booby traps. Now you tell me. At this point, you should see the sarcophagus of the great Egyptian general, Sanus Amon Toth. Looks like there's nothing for miles, but miles and miles of nothing. If there was anybody poking about here, they sure didn't leave no tracks. Seluth Amon Toth's tomb is one of the least spoiled in the Valley of the Kings. Mind bender, you bloody dingo! You may also notice the spiked stone ceiling, which finishes off victims trapped by the clan. Persistent, ain't they? Well, it'll take more than that to scare off Saran. Y'all been hacked, dusty old buddy! That there gal ain't all she claimed to be! Back to the tomb, double pronto! Toth, I presume. Now, General, this won't hurt a bit. Joe will return after these messages. Now back to G.I. Joe. He's got him on radio. Slipstream, what what's to? going on out there? We got a bad situation here, General. Any sign of survivors? Don't see any. Cobra time! It's Cobra, all right. Get in position! Cobra! Don't keep them twins in engine room. You gotta keep them snakes out of Bonaparte's tomb. Nitrate and give us air cover! We're gonna have to get rid of that Cobra jet job first! Huh? Stop! I cannot allow this! You must stop this destruction, you barbarians! Barbarians? 
Napoleon won't take long. He always was a little short. <laughs> <laughs> DNA. A okay. Hold <laughs> it, you turkey. <laughs> Yo, no, don't let him go. Cobra. Yeah! Over here, guys. I see him now. Slipstream, what's the word on that lady snake? No sign of Zorana or Thrasher. They must have drowned. Sci-Fi, I want you to take over. I've got a rendezvous with Roblox. Hawk here. Request permission to come aboard. You get it, General. We've been waiting for you. We're raring to go. Cobra should look out for G.I. Joe. Good work, Roadblock. Now, lock coordinates with Dukes and with Sergeant Slaughter's units. Duke here, do you read me? Loud and clear, over. We're nearing the tomb of Ivan the Terrible. The Soviets have sent the October Guard to back us up. Colonel Brekhoff and Diana send their warmest regards. What about Horror Show? Yeah, you're Ivan! General Hawk, Flint here. Montezuma's tomb is dead ahead. Yeah, and we're dead tired. We'll renew contact as soon as we're in position. Flint out. It's midnight here in Transylvania, General Hawk. We expect to reach Vlad Tepe's crypt at 0200. This whole country reminds me of when I used to take my kids trick-or-treating. Great place for a singles weekend, huh, guys? Yeah, we could take our dates for a swim in the ever-popular Aztec Pool of Death. All right, let's get in position and wait for Cobra's next move. Oh, wee. This is about the scariest place I ever spent the night. How about you, Lowlight? Nah, seen a lot scarier. Cut the chatter, you guys. Cobra's out there. I can feel him. G.I. Joe is here, I tell you. I can feel them. Then let's bash them fast, swipe Montezuma's CIA, and get out of here. That's DNA, you moron. We can't go after it until we're sure of our situation. Brother, leave everything to me. You hear something, Dial Tone? Just a bird. Two of them on top of the Great Wall of Hieroglyphs, and one in the niche below the ceremonial stairs. Who's there? Come on, Lord! Brandon's! They're here! What's all the... So glad you could join us. Oh, oh! Drop in any time, Zartan. Stand. Torch! Turn up the heat! <laughs> Nothing like a cherry blaze to warm a dreadnought on, eh? <laughs> Things are getting a mite warm, Flint. Looks like it's time for a little swim. That water's much too chilly for our friends, gentlemen. Heat it up to the boiling point! <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. <laughs> My special recipe for G.I. Joe soup! <laughs> Keep heating it up! We 
want to be sure our Joe Gooses are properly cooked. <laughs> Come, Monkey Wrench, on to the business at hand. said nothing about no big hairy spiders! You wimp! One more outburst like that and I'll bury you with Montezuma! <sighs> I swear, I'll never eat boiled lobster ever again. Hang on, Zartan! Keep moving or I'll give you a big ugly headache! Come on, this could work out after all. Finally, the dreaded Montezuma. You, you wouldn't happen to have a b bug bomb on you, would you, Zartan? Ow! Fascinating. Now let's get out of here. I'm not sure I understand what we just saw, Zartan, but you'll have plenty of time to explain. Let's play a little game, mates. I go bang, you all fall down. I like games, especially rugby. This is all over, Beachhead. Remind me to get us a new travel agent. There's something depressing about being here during vampire season. Blood Tepes wasn't a vampire mainframe. Just a crazed tyrant who killed people for a hobby. <laughs> Kinda like Cobra. Speaking of which, anything squirming your way, Alpine? Nothing snaky so far, but if it flies in, it's history. What's the word from the other guys? Nothing good. After Paris, Egypt, and Yucatan, it's Cobra Three. Joe Nada. Oh, huh? you hear something? No, I didn't hear it again. And I didn't hear it coming from downstairs. You're nuts. The only thing down there is Dracula. I mean, Vlad Tepe's crypt. There's probably a logical explanation for all this spooky jazz. Sure. When they buried him, they left his radio on. It is coming from the tomb. Then let's check it out. What do we do? Stay here and guard the remains or follow the Phantom Lady? Well, Tepes ain't going no place. After her. Oh, man, this is my kind of climate. Why can't they have weather like this down in Waco, Texas? Face it, Iceberg, you were born in the wrong hometown. Come in, Duke. General Hawk calling. What's the word from Siberia? The word is frostbite, General. My hot cocoa just turned into a frozen popsicle. Nothing else to report. I thought I could take a pretty good chill, but you October gods put me to shame. Mm, beautiful spring day, yes, Joski? Maybe later with chop through ice, go for a swim. There's Cobra with more of their battle android troopers. Bats forward! Cobra! Things. Bats. Robot soldiers that Cobras conjured up. They're overrunning our position. Get up! It's no use. There are too many of them. Hang on, guys! She's going into that room. We've had enough hide and seek. Let's get her. 
Okay, Cinderella, it's pumpkin time. Oh. Ill mannered American oaf, is that any way to treat a lady? Mainframe, get me out of this thing! The decoy back to the grip! Stay back, I warn you! You can't take both of us, Baroness! I won't have to, darling! before the other Charles gets here. We have what we came for. Cobra! Matrix! They're undercutting the foundation. We gotta get out of here. Tomorrow, when Cobra's pursuit of the precious DNA from long-dead conquerors leads from the snowy steppes of Russia to the depths of the Mediterranean Sea, and Sergeant Slaughter becomes the unwitting dupe of the nefarious Dr. Mindbender, all in the next exciting episode of Arise, Serpento, Arise. P.I. Joe will return after these messages. What's this stuff? Sunscreen. It blocks the sun's harmful rays. Want some? Nope. I'm going to stay out all day and get a great tan. Look at your back. It's as red as a lobster. I don't feel so good. Hey, Stella, your friend's been out in the sun without protection. Leatherneck. Next time, use the sunscreen. Wear a hat and a shirt and look for some shade when it's really sunny. A bad sunburn could make you sick and even put you in the hospital. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Gee.